I'm planning another programming video coming up where I'm going to be grabbing the color of certain pixels on screen. I thought it'd be easier to do that uh, programming video later on if I first show the method of how to grab specific uh, colors of pixels that are on the screen. So let's do a quick video here that just does exactly that. We're going to do a, a program here that will draw a square on the screen and then it'll grab the color of that square and put it into a variable. So we're going to do fed and we'll call it square.c. Now I'm going to be uh, printing out some stuff using printf and so for that I need to include uh, standard io.h. Uh, also to put my computer into graphics mode I need to uh, include uh, graph.h and I'm also going to use the get ch function. That'll wait for me to press a key on the keyboard. And so for that, I'm going to do include uh, con io.h, because that's what that's defined. And so let's write my program here, int main. It's an empty argument list, because I don't need to take any arguments. And I need to uh, save the values of the background color and the foreground color. And so I need two variables for that. So we'll do an integer variable here called uh, fg, that's the foreground color, and bg, that'll be the background color. Now let's put my uh, screen into graphics mode. So to do that, I use uh, set video mode. And normally, you want, when I do this video, I, I'll do a, a VRES 16 color, and that puts it into VGA mode at 640 by 480 with 16 colors. But we're going to be messing around with specific pixels here, and at that resolution, it's kind of hard to spot specific pixels that have changed color. So I'm actually going to put this into a lower resolution. We're going to use CGA, and so for that, we're going to use MRES for color. Let's go ahead and set our color. So we'll do set color of one. Now in CGA, now normally in VGA, uh, one would be uh, just a, a low intensity blue, but actually in CGA, that's going to be uh, a cyan color. And now let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. So we'll do rectangle. Actually, we'll draw a square. Remember, the first option on the rectangle function in, in Watcom, Open Watcom, is uh, whether I want to uh, fill the interior or if I just want to draw a border. Here, I want to fill the interior. So we're going to use G fill interior. Now in uh, MRES for color resolution, that's CGA, I'm going to be uh, at 320 by 200. And so to draw a square in here, let's, let's start the upper left at 10, 10, and then the lower right at uh, 150, 150. So that should draw a square from 10, 10 to 150, 150. And now let's go ahead and grab specific uh, colors of pixels that are on screen. So we'll do uh, the foreground color. We're going to use a function called get pixel. That'll return the color of a specific pixel that's on screen. Now, this is the foreground color. It's the color of the rectangle itself. So I just need to pick a point somewhere inside that rectangle. And 100, 100 is definitely inside my rectangle. And the background color, well, that's the, the black sort of background. And so that is going to be get pixel from somewhere that's not uh, inside my uh, rectangle. And so we definitely know that 5, 5 is not inside the rectangle because the rectangle starts at 10, 10. And then let's, uh, let's just wait for the, uh, for the user or me to press a key on the keyboard. We'll do get ch. That'll just grab uh, a key from the keyboard. And then let's go ahead and put the computer back into text mode. So we'll do set uh, video mode back into uh, default mode. Now we can print our results. We'll use printf for that. And um, the color of the square is percent %d. And that should be 1 because that's what we set up above. And so that is the fg variable, the foreground color. And then the same thing for the background color. The color of the background is percent %d, and that should be 0. And then bg. And return back the operating system with return 0. So just to remind ourselves what we've done here. It's a very simple program. We're, uh, we're setting the video mode to this MRES4 color, and then we're setting the color to 1, and then drawing a rectangle with that color. 
we're then using the get pixel functions to grab the color of two pixels. One of them is right in the middle of our uh, rectangle uh, or square, because the square goes from 10, 10 to 150, 150, and we're grabbing it 100, 100. And then the other one is the background color, and that's just from somewhere outside the, the square, and that's 5, 5. Waiting for me to press a key, and then it sets the mode back to uh, text mode, and then prints out my results, and then exits back to the operating system. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll do WCL, the Watcom Compiler and Linker, uh, hyphen Q will make it sort of run a little bit more quieter. And then we'll say uh, square.c. And if I just run square, so now it's drawn my, uh, my, my square, which as we saw, we were expecting that to be cyan, and there it is. And uh, it's now also in the background selected two pixels from the screen. One of them is inside the square, and that should be a color of one. And the other one is outside the square, and that should be a color of zero. If I hit space, it'll bring it back into text mode, and it says the color of the square is one. We expected it to be one, so that worked. And the color of the background is zero, and we expected that to be zero, so that worked. So that's how you can grab colors of specific pixels on screen. You can also set the colors of specific pixels. So let's do one more uh, edit to our program here, fed square.c. And so we know that uh, that BG uh, picks up the background color, which in this case is black. And so before we uh, we, we ask, uh, before we, we wait for a key press, let's go ahead and, and now set a pixel. So we'll set a pixel color. And so for that, we're going to uh, set the color, so set color to whatever the background color is, which we know is zero because we just ran that program. Now, get pixel will get the color of a specific pixel uh, coordinate on screen. And to set the color of a pixel on screen, well, once we've set the color, we can now set pixel. And now we can do this anywhere inside the, uh, the the square. So we've grabbed 100, 100. I could set that pixel again, uh, but just to do something that's not at 100, 100, just so you can kind of see it, we'll do this at 50, 50. This is inside the square in the upper left-hand uh, side of the square. And so that's what that's gonna do. So our addition here is we're now gonna just set the color to whatever the BG was, which we know was zero. And now we have uh, set the color of a pixel at 5050, which is inside the square. And again, I'm, I'm putting this into low resolution CGA so that we can actually see that dot. Otherwise, if it was in VRES 16 color, it might be a little hard to see that specific pixel getting changed. So let's go ahead and do uh, Alt F and we'll go uh, save and quit. And we'll do WCL to uh, compile square.c without any errors, we can now run square. And now you can see that it's drawn the square, same as it did before. It grabbed the two different colors, one from inside the square and one from outside the square. And it used the color from outside the square, which we know is black, to set one pixel inside the square. So you can see right there is the black pixel that it drew. And so I, that's why I put this in, uh, in low resolution so we can actually see the pixel because the pixel will be relatively larger. And so that is how you can get the color of a specific pixel on screen and set the color of a specific pixel on screen. So what do you think about that programming video? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen, so thank you very much for that. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I thank you again here for that as well. Thank you very much. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Mastodon and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.